Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Uh, it's a little black when we start. This is going to be a fun mission, I'm sure, because they all are. The Studio Secretary murder. She didn't take notes well, so I threw her under the train. Chugga chugga womp womp. The train looks cool. Look out! No, dumb lady! This is not for pedestrians. All these drunk women in L.A. I'm going to L.A. That guy's bad! Beware of him. He doesn't want to change your tire, lady. Maybe he's the one who's been murdering everybody. Lady, run! She didn't listen. We'll look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sounds familiar. Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. A 40 year old white woman. Right, Skipper. We're on it. Guy was willing to write his own mother after I sweated him. He wanted to write his own mother? What? We're going to the pawnbroker. Maybe this clue, this case will finally be busted wide open, Turkey Neck. Let's go. Another body and Deirdre Mother's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Where exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass? <laughs> Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Uh, I guess we can't go out that way. Can we go in the interrogation room right now? See somebody else? Oh, no. What are you doing, Turkey Knight? Quit following me. You freak. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. I need a drink, too. We all need a drink. Come on, Dick Lurk. Dick Licker McDick. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Yeah, anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Whoa, look out! <laughs> it was pretty damning when the guy ran, though. It doesn't look good when you run like that. Whoa, trolley! Sorry, everybody. Aha, uh -huh, I didn't damage your car, I just bumped it. It's all good. Look up for me, hot dog stand. Pawnbroker, 10.24 AM. AM stands for Ass Master. Come on, Turkey Knight, let's go master that ass. They pay good money, better than bad money. How can I help you, boy? I want the guitar. I want the guitar. I want to start a guitar career. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money. Now you guys are going to leave me short. Yep. How much did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Good job, Turkey Neck. How do I know which one is? What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. I thought Maker's mark was a whiskey. Speaking of which, let me get a drink. <laughs> Uh, Does this mark mean anything? 22 carat. All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Alright, so we gotta... Let's get an what address. on the guy who brought these in? He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, 
Medium build. Dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Thanks, dude. Let's see if I can find something nice for my wife. Maybe she'd like one of these finger cutter fans. Our kid's got too many fingers. I can put them in there. Choppy choppy. Where are you going, turkey neck? I'm browsing for wares. I want that guitar. I'm going to invent rock and roll. Alright, um... Is there a phone around here? I want to call in the address for, uh... I'm going to go to the rail yard. No, I want to go to the, uh... Jewelry. Jewelry place. Odd man out. Let's we go see that problem. movie. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. Kirk is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Well, if he keeps sending us... Alright, we'll take that. Man with a gun, we're on it. Put the pedal down. I'm a man with a gun. I killed like 13 people last episode. It was awesome. Come home, have my mashed potatoes and tell my wife and my children the gory details. This little Clementine, I shot him and his guts came out of him. Intestines were everywhere. Like a stuck pig. Please hand some pork chops to me. Daddy's hungry. <laughs> oh man, I should have looked where this fucking call was before I took it. It's in BFE. At least we have the tunnel to ourselves, right? This is what it's like for a sperm. We should name our car the Sperm Mobile. It's not very scary though. Out of my way, dick burgers! Oh man, I gotta drive from one side of LA to the other. <laughs> what the hell is this? I think this is up in San Francisco. This isn't even in Los Angeles. I don't think I realized how big the city was. Whoa! Sorry. Tweet, please help me out. Thanks. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm not actually liquored up yet, but that's a good idea, guy who was yelling at me. That makes me a better cop. Sorry. It's been a pretty peaceful ride, though. We haven't killed anybody. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. I'm on it. Need it to handle code two, identify. God damn it! I said cough it up. I'm not gonna say it again. Say yeah. That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Don't shoot him. Oh. I told you not to shoot him. Give it up, LAPD. We nearly knocked him down. Um, where is he? Hurry! You can still catch him! Yeah, I'm trying to, woman. How do you know what he was wanted for? Excuse me! There he is, officer! Thanks. Sorry I ruined your barbecue. You can get him! Give him one for me! Give him one what? Look out! Lady, don't follow him! Where's my partner? You're the cop who won a medal? Yeah, I want a medal. Talk more about it. Uh, 
Stick your head up. The way. Cease and desist. Stick your head up. Do it, fuckhead. Oh man, I missed him. That turkey neck shoot. Don't ruin that car, turkey neck. That's not our car to ruin. I'll cover you. Surrender now. Oh, shit, I had to reload. I gotta put like one fucking bullet into him. Come on, stick your head up, dude. Come on. Lay down your fire. Case closed. That wasn't my best detective work ever. They should realize when they send car 11 on any case, they come back dead. Or the suspect does. I'm more like the murder machine. Alright, we gotta... Let's pick up the map a second. I get the map up. We gotta go all the way down there. I will meet you there, I think. Yeah, I'll meet you there. You just cracked. Alright, so this kind of happened on the way to the crime scene. I came flying off that hill, and I kind of smashed the car up a little bit. Who would have thought that would have happened? Shit like that happens. Not my fault. He should have been out of the way. We had the siren going. Hey, we got right before uh, the sta in front of the station. Turkey neck. Turkey neck. Double time, Rusty. Oh, come turkey neck. Fuck you. You walk the rest of the way, turkey neck. You take too long. Are they gonna ruin my mission for me because I left them behind? I got sick of waiting, man. I've got crimes to solve and things to run into. Come on, Turkey Neck, you can do it. Get in my way, bitches. Crime solving come through. The Sherlock Holmes says, I bet. Go, go, go! I'm off so kick ass. I like how I just totally left Turkey Neck behind. <laughs> I'm guessing that's gonna come back to haunt me at some point. I wanna drive those trucks. Seems cool, mother truckers. You nearly knocked me down. I did not nearly knock you down, bitch. I wasn't even close. Trust me, I've knocked people down. It's my stop. Let's see if Turkey Neck catches up. It's not even our car. You boys ready? Follow me. Isn't even my. How do we, we should get keep in this, this car? development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. Rail yard, 11.59 a.m. Don't look up our dress. Don't look Park. at Vaginaville. Yeah, I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices at the place. All right, let's check out the body, then we'll interrogate some people. All right, let's check out her head. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. She doesn't have the rope ligur ligurature marks around her throat. Another missing ring. It certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. 
Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. 2 a.m. He likes to murder people late at night, apparently. Because I think one of the others was like at 2 a.m. Okay, I guess that's it. Tell me about what you saw, dude. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. The rope marks, though, aren't very clear like they were in all the other cases. Hey, nice day, gentlemen. Okay, let's look at this first. A liquor store? It's for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. What? If there's booze there, it's worth investigating. <laughs> they wrote something on your stationery. Give us some booze. Come on, this has got to be... Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Mensch's bar? Is that a Yiddish bar? Let's see what's in her purse. Tampa time! What's this pink thing? Pink slip? The Keystone the Film Company. See what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Well, that's a problem. So she used to be legal, like she was a secretary? 2122 St. David Street, 11 Bridgeport, Connecticut. I have a friend from Connecticut. Dear Evelyn, I hope that this letter finds you in a better way than when we last parted. Bitter words were exchanged. You had taken too much liquor, and we both know what that makes you become. But I am not writing to harass and excuse you, accuse you. I am writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl. And what she is doing to herself. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn. And it is harder for me to watch than you can imagine. But only God Almighty above us has the right to judge, though I seem to be judging too. And so I beg your forgiveness, you harlot. I've been in contact with the sanitarium here in Connecticut on your behalf. They say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and that it can be be treated. You only need to check yourself in. It will not... Dun dun dun. Well, apparently they have a, she had a great relationship with her mother. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Sorry. Can I go up here? I'm gonna climb the ladder. Go up! Fuck you! Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. There ain't no afternoon delight. That's morning sexy bone times. Let me make a call a second. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Can you please move? Thank you. I'm gonna go to the jewelry store. I gotta buy my wife something so I can get some punane. I need an address for a jewelry store. Phelps, Phelps officer 247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. What about the... What about the fucking other store? Oh, just get some jewelry. 
Let's see, she was a vagrant. She's got a missing ring. The rest of them. Oh, the ponderings is the one I want to look at. Rings pawned by suspect Percy B. Shelley. Oh. Uh, so, how do you know it wasn't Shelley? Maybe he came back from the grave to commit these murders. I want to drive the paddy wagon. Oh, that would be so cool. Alright, let's see if we can find any more fucking clues. Excuse me, coroner. Quit stealing my haircut. Let's see, there's some big pipes. Seems like a clue to me. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. There is blood there. Let's see if there's anything else around here. I really want to find all the clues. Why was it saving there? Was it because I just found a clue? That bird's a clue. Bird, did you see it? Did you see it? Don't flee the crime scene! Fucking stupid ass bird. Fucking hate you. Man, there's not a lot of room in between trains. Hey, nice day, gentlemen. Alright. See if there are any other clues. What are you looking at there? Hey reporters, take my picture. Do you see me leave this that? Guy, Phelps? Check this out, reporters. Woo! I'm an all-star. I'm in the Olympics. Take my picture. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't Fuck push you. your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. <laughs> yeah, turkey neck. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. <laughs> Shut Turn up. out your pockets, Ferdinand. <laughs> turkey neck is like take your beating like a man. That's your job to be beat. Classic Carmine. Why well, you got this fruit cake? Hmm. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Hit him, Rusty. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. I believe you. Why would you lie about that? You said you went through it. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. You're bullshitting me, boy. Let's see if I have anything to prove that you're lying, though. Movie lot job, nope. Upper half of a torn letter, no. Lipstick. Hmm. But we use an intuition point. We'll ask the community. They went with doubt. Well, I was leaning that way, so, um... I guess you I'll do found that. found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Yeah, I already heard that. You already told me that, bitch. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is gonna look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. Do it. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Yeah! <laughs> Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into the uh... cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. I'm worried about what him and some of his friends have done. Probably went to the morgue and had a sex party. Who else can I talk to? Any ideas? I say we try the liquor store next. I didn't know I could talk to you. For the car. 
Is that something I should have been doing all game long? Where'd the paddy wagon go? Did they fucking take that? No, I wanted to drive that! Whoa, <laughs> Fuck. We're gonna take the cutesy car. Come on. I guess we'll go to the liquor store. That's what ladies like is the liquor store, because they like getting liquor. Whatever, that was hot. All really the ladies those watching goddamn here. Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. Watch where you're driving, you maniac. It's all good. That's what those things are for. The red and white barricades mean drive through them. I want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, right? Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? It's true, the Reds did win in China. The citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any sentry unit identified. It was all good. I hated that bench anyway. It killed my family. It deserved to die. Let's do this shit. Cops in effect. Everybody sing with me. Cops in effect. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's what I'm glad to... Alright. Dispatch will take it. It happened to be on our way. This is car 11K, go ahead. Would be Rama. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! That's probably the guy. It's Dick Tracy. He's in a red car, or yellow car. I know my colors. Fuck you! <laughs> Dick Tracy! Pull over Dick Tracy! Calling Dick Tracy! Shoot him, turkey fuck! Now look what you did, turkey man! How are we gonna catch him? What? I can't! I was gonna cut him off! Oh... That is shit. I gotta film the exact way he went. I was gonna cut him off. I was gonna come around the corner. I hate when games do that. That's why I hated Grand Theft Auto 4. I hate games that do that. Too. Like, if you can drive around a different way on your own and take care of it, they should let you do that. It's part of the fun of games, is having the free roam and. Oops! You gotta get me closer! I'm doing it! This is an insane try <laughs> chase. Freeze, bitch head! You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now! Oops! <laughs> Bam! In the face! What the hell? What are you waiting for, Phelps? I'm an Adam. Wait, there's somebody else? We just got the guy. Didn't we? You goddamn bum! You're the bum. What the heck, fire? There's two of them? Oh. 
Suck it! Two more dead. I'm a real man. Murdering's what I do best. Killing those little sissy boys. Two dead. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th streets. I shot one of the dudes in the face. All units be advised the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th streets. Repeat, the suspect is down. Code four. I want that vehicle. We haven't driven one of those yet. Come back. Come back, crazy ass van. Stop that van. Take this one. Take this one. I like the other color scheme better, but please get out. out of the car, police. <laughs> Wait, how will I get my car back? Probably won't. <laughs> Check it out, Turkey Neck. We got a new ride. How do you like that? I think it's pretty ki uh, spiffy. I forgot where we were going though. I think we're going to a liquor store. Let's get some booze on. Party time. Super Paul party. Who's Who wants to come to the super party? <clears throat> get off my road, butt munch. It's all mine. Drinks are on me. In my, oh, I gotta go to the left. Too busy thinking about delicious drinks. Look out! This thing turns like a fucking land boat. Look out, SS land boat coming in. Mm, liquor store. <laughs> Yay for booze, wines and liquors. Levine's liquor store. Barry Levine Sagittarius. Where did you get all that custard? He's like, shut your mouth. Don't you worry about that. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? Yep. You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Why would she keep her stuff at a liquor store? Like, she kept her booze here? Her panties? Her panty booze? You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Well, you let us take some to the road, this case might get solved a lot. Turkey neck, knock it off. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? I want that. We'll take a look around. Can you give me a bed there, dude? I love liquor. I mean, I'm not... Oh, that's a cute picture. Pretty ladies. She wasn't always such a loner. She used to have friends. What's that like? <laughs> Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. No, Grosvenor. That's a weird ass name. Hi, I'm Grosvenor. The only Grover I know is uh, the one off Sesame Street. I guess I'm not helping my cause to sound like I'm very intelligent. <laughs> I know Grover from Sesame Street. We're friends. I read about when he goes to bed and share and. She's got a mirror to summon the devil with. What's this? When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Apparently she won an award that she likes to keep here at the liquor place. <clears throat> I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Aw, oh, poor lady. I want this. And go bowl. Rawlings Bowling Alley. 
Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Bowling is pretty popular, especially here in the Midwest where I live. <clears throat> Where'd the guy go? It's back here, just an alleyway. Damn you boxes. That takes me way back. That kind of a fan there. Takes me back to when I used to work at a forklift place. Old industrial places. Where I grew up in urban decay. It's down here. Mm, delicious booze. It gives me all the things I need. Oops. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. Came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. You seem to be straight about that. A little concerned. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. Aww. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Aww. It was hobo love. Aww. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. That seems like the truth to me. Maybe I'm gullible, but... I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back home. This is true. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Oh, man! I don't believe you, dude. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. Communist? You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Can we have some booze? Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. Aww. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Man. That hobo lady had a better relationship since she's got a boy than I have. That's pitiful. Now I feel bad. Wah, wah, wah. I'm gonna go cry for a while. This is where the LP ends and I just go sit and cry in some beer. I don't know how I get some beer I can cry in. I guess I need a really big bottle. Alright, let's go to the, uh, I guess we'll go to Mench's Bar than the Bowling Alley. I really wanna go to the Bowling Alley, but one place at a time. So how do you feel about this ride we got, Turkey Neck? Slow down. It's an act over somebody's sign. You should all be proud of me that that's the worst I did with Land Boat here. Let's go hunt Moby Dick. I'm looking for giant white dick. Oh no! No! <laughs> that's what I would say if I was looking for giant white dick. The RKO Theater. Well, that's old school, man. I don't know what the point of that is when it comes to the game, but still, cool. Maybe we can make some RKO pictures. Did the Three Stooges do their stuff through RKO? No, I think that was Columbia. I'm trying to remember. That's a long time ago, well before my time. 
Look out! If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. Get some tobacco with the nest. Go buy some tobacco there. Just so I can be a cool kid. Winch's Bar, 1.26 p.m. Drink, fellas. Yeah. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Yeah, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Thanks, Dick Burger. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. That's you! Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Do you have a criminal history, fuckhead? Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You look like you're playing this. Uh, I don't trust you. Do we have anything? Pawn rings? I don't think any of this is going to be good enough evidence, though. That ties him to anything. The only thing we have is, um... That there's a book with his name on it. So I'm going to doubt him. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Workers' rights. Communist! That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. Bullshit! You're lying. We got a book with your name in it, dick. You're weed. lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Let's look at my evidence. Oh wait, I got a book with your name in it, fucker to McFuckhead in the fuck of doom. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. If she was in your apartment, she knows you. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. Mm, how? He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. I would like to pause this LP to ask any of the lovely ladies in the audience, would you like to go to a hotel room with me and get, a, get some booze in a bag? <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have a good date. Anybody? Don't don't everybody comment yes at once and get overwhelmed by the lack of response. All right, so we need to go to the bowling alley. Commercial bowling alleys, as opposed to non-commercial bowling alleys. We're still this truck. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Fuck you. We're still in the truck. Mother truckers. Look, it's got barrels of something. I don't know what. Probably not booze. Those are not booze type barrels. <laughs> ah, turn, turn, turn. The whole thing was sliding. No way that would happen in real life. Wait, oh, let's, uh, let's use the phone and get the new address. For that place that guy was talking about. Stay with the truck, turkey neck. Don't want to lose it. The thing's like a truck to me. Oops. That's for lease. I can start a business. Selling sexiness. Hey, Lady McLady, I'm Officer 247. 
Phelps, badge 1247. 1247, something, something. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. Fuck you. Thanks. No, I'm going to the bowling alley. Can you believe that? Just wanted to go to the jewelry store. Where did you not watch my truck, Turkneck? Oh my word, I hate you. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing? Cole? Hurry up, Turkey Neck. You're fucking me up. Fuckhead. Alright, let's go. Look out, guys. This is my road. Give it up for Big Truck the Mother Truck. Sweet. Man, now I wish they'd make one of these in New York. That's what I loved about the um, Godfather game, getting to be an old-fashioned New York. Well, this thing doesn't have much pickup, but if we hit anybody, we're bound to win that fight. Come on, go faster, truck, faster! Come on, get more speed going. That guy stopped in the intersection, what a jerk off. We need to go ball. It's a bowling emergency. Man, it's really hard to tear it up in this thing. Come on, faster, faster. You would think at some point it would start to pick up a little more um, speed. Apparently our top speed is maybe 35. And it handles so well. 20 cents for something according to that side. Ooh, I like that blue car, that's cool. Nixon! Vice President Nixon! Look out! Look out! Look out! Actually, I think we're too early in history for him to be Vice President. I don't remember what year we're playing in. Way too early, too, for him to be president. Central Police Station, 2.09 p.m. Wait, I didn't want to come back here. I wanted to go to the bowling alley. Oh, I fucked up. I want to go to the bowling alley. Come on, dude. We're going to the bowling alley. We're taking a better car though. That thing took forever. Don't honk at me, you hey. I didn't have any good insult for them. This thing's kind of ugly. Just stand in the street, turkey neck. Why don't you? I'm sure, I don't need you. I love how you can just totally abandon him. Run, turkey neck, run! I would ask if we get a new partner soon, but any of you have already played this one out. Oops, sorry! It's alright. I only need one headlight anyway. It's not like I'm a Rockefeller where I need to be fancy with two lights. Whoa, dude! It's my street. Everybody out of the way. Man, look how low the... The wires are hanging up top. Like, if you were a giraffe, you'd get, like, clothesline driving around here. Not that there are probably a lot of giraffes in Los Angeles driving cars, but still. Careful. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knocked that dude's hood off. I am keeping LA safe. I'm driving safely. I'm the king of safe driving. Shit! Rolling's bowling alley, 2.28 p.m. Sweet bowling! They should have that as a mini game in here. I bet you GTA 5 would have that. Hell, if it's, when's it come out? I think it comes out in September. I don't know if this will be out in time or not for that. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. 
Homicide. Don't yell you at her. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tiernan. Yeah. He's a pin set. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. It stuck in my mind. Because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy Flores? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. You don't call him a pin setter, they're pin it. monkeys. That's the proper name they like. They're like, no, I'm, I want some gumballs. Some fucking gumballs. If I could pull out my gun and shoot him open. All, I asked them to hold the mail. Hey, can I run on the lanes when and the fuck things up for people? Oh, fuck! I wanted to run the lanes and ruin it for everybody. They won't let me run in the lanes. Fuck you. Sorry. Can I grab one with a lot? It's on the left side? Right. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, just the one. Tiernan! LAPD! Get back here, dude. Stop you far Ted <laughs> No come back here asshole There Oh sweet this is cool And this is like a little coup Where'd you get out? Why did you get out turkey neck? Why did you just get out? Why did we get here and you just got out of the fucking vehicle? Makes no sense. Fuck, where is he? I think I lost him. Wait, no, he's way up there. I saw him take a left. Come back here, dude! Why did Turkey Neck get out of the car? And this thing's got some pickup. I like this ride. Slow down, dude. This is not safe. I'm not supposed to be driving through the park like that. Look out, lady! I'm driving like a madman here. Ooh, what's this? No, you shouldn't be driving under train tra tracks, dude. I hope a train hits him and kills him. Oh, don't hit us, though. No! No, no, no! It's my bad. I didn't want to hit the thing in the middle. So I just hit the wall instead like a genius. Friend, stop! I guess you can just drive through those. Never mind. Come on, dude. Oh, I can't see. There we go. Stop, dude. Please stop. Please stop before you get yourself killed or before you get me killed. Man, this reminds me of this horror movie I saw with, like, this subway night train where they harvested all the people for meat. It was meat-alicious. Ha-ha! Oh no! My car works better than yours. Hands up! Put your hands in the air! Like you just don't care! Put them right through the car. I don't know why Turkey Neck got out though. <laughs> that was weird. That is the end of that! About fucking time! All right, let's check out our locations. Central Police Station, we are on it. Still want to go see the pawn shop about those, uh, not the pawn shop, the jewelry shop, but that wasn't available. You want to get in the vehicle, Turkey Neck? 
Hey, turkey neck. Let's go. Too slow, Rusty. Turkey neck. I'm busy here, Phelps. Busy doing what? Double time, Rusty. What are you doing? You're just standing on the sidewalk. Fine, stay there, you idiot. Full convertible. Like, I'm busy doing nothing. Fine, you can walk back to the station. I don't care. It's all right. Just a scratch. I like how the cop there doesn't bother to do anything. I guess I'll just assume he knows it's me! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I damaged my awesome car. It's all good. Uh, I honk back at you, idiots. Don't you know how to drive? Y'all drove like me, it'd be more exciting. Oops, I missed my stop. You idiot! <laughs> oh, he likes it in the back end. There we go. That's where my parking spot. Close enough. What's in here? Oh, there's an ambulance. Can I drive it? Sweet. Can I park it out front just in case for later? Christ alive. There, I'll leave it here. Don't worry, guys. You got hit by an ambulance. It can help. Ooh, that yellow car is cool. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker. And Carruthers. Oh crap, I don't know how to get downstairs without Turkey Neck here. He's the only one who knows how to get downstairs. <laughs> oh, there we go. I did it right. Odds of that weren't very high. I know I have to go the other way, but I've never gone over here before. Oh man, this is like... The cop locker room here is really creepy. Really creepy. Urinals. Time to use them. Oh, 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 that was good. Mm. I could wash my hands, but I don't have time for that. I've got crimes to solve with grimy hands. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases which I don't want to air it outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. You, Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. So they were down at the coroner's office having sex with the people. That's nasty. My lack of a sex life all of a sudden feels so much better. Back of the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. You gotta get a new address? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another commendation? Where's the phone? There's a phone in the interview room? No, there's no phone in here. Must be on the other side, and I walked past it. So when I found him, I returned the favor. What the hell's the phone? 
What? Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Wait, no, maybe it's downstairs? There's gotta be a phone outside. Except for I'm not going outside. I'm going the wrong way. Can I go in here? Oops. Can I go in here? Hi, guys! You're stuck in here. Nobody loves you. Bye! Makes them feel better. Um, I don't want to go upstairs. Let's go find a phone outside if we could. Can I use your phone? Oh, wait, there's the phone. Even though we gotta call someone who was probably in the building we just left. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks, ma'am. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. Yep, robots are coming to take all of our jobs. Soon all the jobs, the let's play jobs, we get, oh, the fuck that was loud. Can I drive that? Come back, you fucking trolley! Oh, you son of a trolley bitch. Wanted that ride. Let's take a black, oh. Oh, our ambulance, yes! Oh man, our cute little coop is there too. That's the one. Why are you in the ambulance? You gotta be he was waiting for me. For driving this? <laughs> Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with it? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. What are you waiting for? Get after him. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Any century in the possible form Oh, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. It's all right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. What are they talking about? Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. What? Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. I think getting into the ambulance caused a glitch. I don't think we're supposed to be hearing this. If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. Let's see if we can drop down on it. Ambulance attack! Woo! Do we... Uh, there we go. Maybe that was supposed to be conversation from the other guy I caught, but he wasn't in the vehicle with me? Oh, I bet you that's what it was. But Turkey and Nat got out of the vehicle, so then he had the conversation after the fact. Um, do we have here oops in the clues what apartment this is no uh maybe it was up front and i missed it Let's see is there a list of uh names oh, right there no all right move it turk oops on the other side turkey deck mccaffrey is in apartment six Alright, that means he should be on the ground floor, I would think. What is that? Three? Can't, four? Maybe not. Are there any clues here? I can steal their dolly. Hello, dolly. There's a sheep on the wall. That's a dolly, too. Five to six, seven, even numbers on the other side. There we go. 
Please open the door. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Oops. Apparently that was my warrant. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. But it's a book. It's the rest of the letter from the lady's mom. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Why would he have the letter of the person who was killed? Man, why are these... He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Why does the bowling alley have tire irons? Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? Cops. What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Thanks, lady. Duncan in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Can we look at the shirt? Pretty damning evidence, but everybody has this. Like, everybody's murdering people with tire irons. Los Angeles has gone mad with the fad. Tire iron murderings. Booze? Incidental. Mm. Excuse me, fat. What am I missing? To the ding thing. Oh, right there. Maybe. No. no. Plants. There's always something in the kitchen that doesn't matter that you can see. Oh, I guess not in this one. Make me a liar. Why don't you, kitchen? All right, so we gotta go upstairs. Oops, sorry, lady. I didn't mean to. So he likes to get drunk with his pigeons. That guy's like, "Hey, who are you? What are you doing, old man?" It's like I just like hanging out in the hallway. Oh well, if it makes you happy, I guess. Do what you will, pigeons. Hey, that's the guy, Grovesner McCaffrey. Hey, Grovesner. Grovesner McCaffrey. That pigeon flew the coop. Ha. Huh? Hang on, uh, McCaffrey. Do not that Sit son down of a bitch. and we'll talk. We'll get our wheels. You get those wheels, Fatty McFat fuck. Come on, hurry up, turkey neck. Come back here, Grovesner, you communist! I want to talk to you about manifestos. Oh, I can't pull out my gun! What the hell? I was gonna m shoot him Lock right him there. The there he is, Run him yeah, I know, I see him. I'm chasing him, woman. There he is! How does she know I'm an officer? There's other people there in LA in suits. Get that bomb. Stop or I'll throw things at your buttocks. Like bullets. Is your butt ready to catch my bullets? Come back Get here. Out. LAPD. Man, I'm gonna join a marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I finally tackled McCaffrey, someone. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Punch him. Finally, I tackled somebody because I did it right for once. Yeah. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. <laughs> it's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Terranen set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? 
I don't think any of these guys did. did. At least it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. You gotta be kidding. We're driving this? If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later day. I'll hold you to that. Look out, ambulance on the case. Detective Ambulance. The great thing about that is if I injure anybody by hitting them? Um, oh crap, this is in a row. KGPL to any unit. The reports suspicious activity 111 South Alameda. Stand by for further for any unit. Yeah, we're not going to take that call central dispatch because I ended up in the subway accidentally. I guess it's not the subway, but on the train track still. This still isn't the road. <laughs> Oh, it happens. Ooh, that's a cute little blue car. Central Police Station, 7.21 p.m. Sweet ride. Hey, it's a uh, lineup. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jeff? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. You beat Tiernan everyone! Caffrey isn't too. I want the confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young thumbs. I don't think we have anything on Tiernan, do we? Maybe he did it. It seems like we have the most of McCaffrey, because we found the... He had stuff from the lady. And the, the murder weapon apparently was in his house. Yeah, we don't have much of anything on Tiernan. I think I'd... Hmm. I want to make homicide. Let's go, uh... Maybe Tiernan can give us some info? Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. What's your relationship with the Vic? Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. I don't think you're telling the truth. I don't know if we have anything to connect them, though. Yeah, wait, what about that? You're lying to me. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Witness testimony. The witness saw that you guys went in a hotel room together. You don't do that with people you just met, unless you're a hooker. McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Yeah. Last night we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Did she date rape you? Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. <laughs> You're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. Wow, he really seems like he really believes it, or he's a good liar. You don't like McCaffrey, do you, Tiernan? <laughs> he's full of the common man routine, but he props up a bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. He had nothing but vitriol for her. Pretty good vocabulary. Oh, I got it wrong. You Fuck and Evelyn you. were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. I don't believe that. 
I don't know if we have anything that... Mm, I'm just gonna doubt you. If you don't give me some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan, I'm gonna have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch! I don't remember a goddamn thing! Punch him in the back of the head, turkey neck. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them. To clear jams in the pin setting machines. That's true, but what about the tire iron? Didn't it say uh, the bowling alley's name on it? Whatever. I'll just say he lied. I, I don't think truth. he did it. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that. And there's no way you can prove any different. But it had the bowling alley name on it. As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn oh, was missing uh, a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, present from the prop department in her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. I don't think he did it, though. I didn't get him all right, but I don't really care. <laughs> Maybe I should, but whatever. You see my ambulance out there? That's fucking boss. Look out, dude. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Punch him in the head, turkey neck. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Really, someone writing a manuscript in Los Angeles? That's hard to believe. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth column. Mm, Some cheese of and these crackers. people will corroborate your story. I won't give up names of party members. Good. It's your funeral. Wait, that's it? You're the reason brothers and sisters should have married. Wait, that's all the questions I can ask him? <laughs> Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Oh. He almost beat the woman to death. Thank you. That's a pretty big clue. I should have probably had that before. I don't know who he was. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? That's a lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We have your criminal record, butt munch. You'd expect you should expect the cops could get that. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What 
is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Um... Oh... What do we do now, Fuckles the Clown? I really don't think McCaffrey did it, but I don't think the other guy did it either. I think that we have to end the case. I don't think we have a choice. Alright, I guess we'll charge McCaffrey. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another commendation? Grovener McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. I don't know. Something just doesn't seem to be adding up. I mean, this guy is a loser, but... Maybe it's just me. I got most of the clues and most of the questions. <laughs> I'm on a vehicle damage. Girls there, McAfee, he can write a tell-all memoir from his cell on death row! By McCaffrey. Uh-oh. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. The Gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, then try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and Infilate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. Shit, the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Come on, folks, you can get everyone killed. Listen to them.